I'm Jenny McGann. I'm 34 year old, one year ovarian cancer survivor. Hearing the words that all of the disease is out of your body and that you're, there's no evidence of disease in you any longer is just, it's, um, it's a euphoric feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Coming to grips with my future infertility was one of the hardest things I faced as part of my treatment. I didn't struggle as much with my mortality because I felt from the beginning um, that I understood my disease well and I understood very well what I needed to do from all aspects, not only from the medicine part of it but the lifestyle part of it, what I needed to do to fight it. But what um, was hard was to accept that despite that I had, the fact that I had taken care of myself, despite the fact that I had done all the other things that my friends had done in terms of working out and going to my doctor and all of those sorts of things, I was the unlucky one who wouldn't get some of the same joys that my friends had. And not only that, my friends were experiencing those joys during my treatment. I had about a half dozen friends either give birth or tell me that they were pregnant while I was in treatment. And each time I found out or each baby was born, there was a part of me, half a day, a day, that was had to mourn, had to grieve the fact that I would never be sharing the same news with my friends um, or never be the one in the hospital just having had a baby. But then quickly rebounded and realized that um, you know, the, my legacy in this world is not going to be the lives that I create, um, but rather the women's lives that I try to help save. Um, Donnell, why don't you stand up? <laughs> Donnell, unfortunately, lost her, your sister to ovarian cancer. Again, how old was she when she was diagnosed and how old was she when she died? She was only 36 when she was diagnosed and had very subtle symptoms also. Um, she just had uh, a little pain. And as part of that, I'm participating in the Johanna's Law Inside Knowledge Public Awareness Campaign to make women aware of the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer. I blog about the disease. I visit Capitol Hill to make our lawmakers aware of it. And I do work with all the relevant national organizations to help spread the word about ovarian cancer, the signs and symptoms, so that women get diagnosed earlier and have a fighting chance to save their lives in this battle. Dream.